Hey you guys, I'm back with another episode of Minority Report. I'm your host, Lachelle Smith. Minority Report is a video blog on YouTube that celebrates Black-owned businesses. And on this episode of Minority Report, I'm doing my most favorite thing to do ever. I'm eating. I like food. I like food a lot. I get happy when I eat food. Food makes me happy. So I am happy to show you this new line of food um, from Oprah. It's called Oh That's Good. Um, it's been out, I guess, maybe like a year or so now. It was not in my local area and I was contemplating buying it online. And then when I decided like I can't buy food online, it finally did like show up in my local grocery store. So I was like, oh, let me grab a couple and see what this stuff tastes like. So this is what the packaging looks like. Traditional Oprah, like I just her style is like always dope. So um, like the purple, the green, the whole product line is supposed to be um, like a nutritious, a healthier product line. So let me just read some information from the actual website and give you more details about um, what products um, are available through the Oprah um, Oh That's Good food line. So it is a nutritious twist on Oprah's favorite comfort foods. It's pizza, soup, and sides. So there are supreme pizza, fire cheese pizza, fire roasted veggie pizza, and uncured pepperoni pizza. I don't know what any of that's supposed to mean. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess the vegetable component, because the whole idea is to make comfort foods more healthy is most of them are uh, mixed with the ingredients are mixed or the base of the ingredients is cauliflower. So then there are also flavorful soups. There's four to choose from. There's a baked potato soup, a creamy butternut squash soup, a broccoli cheddar soup, and a creamy tomato basil soup. And then there are also four sides. So there's original mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, three cheese pasta, and a creamy parmesan pasta. Now the soups, uh, the base for the soups is either cauliflower, sweet potatoes, or butternut squash, except of course the creamy tomato basil soup. And then the savory sides, the mashed potatoes, um, the two original mashed potatoes and the garlic mashed potatoes, um, again, the base is cauliflower and then the three cheese pasta and the creamy parmesan pasta um the three cheese pasta has butternut squash in it and the creamy parmesan pasta has a white bean base so i grabbed three of the sides to see what they would taste like i grabbed the creamy parmesan pasta again um this is with a twist of white bean so that's the packaging check that out then I also got the original mashed potatoes and this packaging is in purple and blue as you can see that's that and then I also wanted to try the three cheese pasta with a twist of butternut squash here's that packaging and just so you can also see what the food looks like now, first of all, I'm going to tell you that I'm not a fan of microwave food whatsoever. I actually like to cook my own food. So even seeing seeing this and wanting to try it, I'm a little skeptical. Uh, I don't, by, by any stretch of the imagination, am I a chef? Absolutely not. But I do like to make my own food. I really don't like prepackaged. I don't like prepackaged anything. But I was like, oh, this is Oprah. You know, she got Weight Watchers going on. If you watch Oprah over the years, then you know that she struggled um, with her weight. And I really think, just also thinking of her as just a businesswoman, period. Like, this just makes sense. So I wanted to see, what does it taste like? I can tell you, this is the three cheese, what is this? The three cheese pasta. It doesn't even really smell like anything. Um, this is what it looks like. It's um, like it's not creamy in my in my opinion. 
Um, what does it taste like? Let's see what it tastes like, y'all. Hmm. What's the twist in a creamy three cheese pasta? We've replaced some of the cheese with a velvety butternut squash puree increasing the number of veggies while keeping all the rich cheesy flavor in every bite. What I can say about what I just tasted is if you like al dente pasta, this is probably for you. Um, the pasta is very firm. That's what al dente means. It's firm so it's not mushy and there's no opposite of al dente. You know, Italians when they make pasta, it's either firm or not. And if it's not firm, then it's overcooked and it's not good at all so that's like a sin when you make Italian food so the pasta is very firm it's it's not creamy and I'm so glad it doesn't say that on the packaging I needed to double check because I was never say oh but baby you done lied to me but um it's it, it's it's not creamy the taste in my opinion is very bland um but please keep in mind my taste buds are comparing this to something my mama or my grandmama made. Clearly it's not going to taste the same. The experience is not going to be the same. Um, I personally don't feel comforted by this. The next one that I have is the creamy parmesan pasta. And it has a white bean puree base. So instead of the cream that you would use if you were making like a parmesan pasta if you know what the ingredients for parmesan pasta is and it does call for cream so they basically replace the cream with a white bean puree that's what the packaging looks like and this is what the pasta looks like again it's not well this one is a little bit creamier um trying to be kind here um it's a little creamier than the three cheese parmesan like i'm sorry the three cheese whatever the hell that is um with the butternut squash in it this is what it looks like yeah about that what does it taste like um now this one's not too bad um Again, if you like firm pasta, this is definitely going to be for you. And what I mean by firm is like, I got to chew it a couple times before I swallow it. It's not like, it's not mushy at all. This definitely has a little bit more love in it than the three cheese pasta, the orange, this orange thing here. The creamy parmesan like at least there's like some garlic in it and I think that's probably like some basil that's in there it's not nearly as bland as that that orange stuff let me show you this again but as far as like taste um, like I said the the creamy parmesan pasta definitely tastes better than the three in my opinion tastes better than the three cheese um, it, it has a little like it has some like it feels like it got some love in it and if you're going to sell or, or, or promote or produce comfort food like I needed to have some soul you know like this definitely did not come from the Maya Angelou cookbook at all um, but it doesn't it doesn't taste bad it's just not necessarily my twister or, or my flavor but then again I'm not trying to eat healthy neither um, not yet one I don't know one day maybe what am I mixing over here next this is the original mashed potatoes with a twist of cauliflower. Now I am seeing um, a lot of recipes that are calling for or just we're skipping mashed potatoes and starches all together and we're basically pureeing cauliflower so that it looks like mashed potatoes and that's pretty much what they've done here. This isn't bad. I 
think about it. I'm, I'm processing. Because I didn't taste this before I turned the camera on. This, this is not bad. Hmm. Okay. Of the three, I definitely would eat the mashed potatoes. So if I had to put them in a one, two, three category. The original mashed potatoes with a twist of cauliflower is definitely going to be number one. The creamy parmesan pasta with a twist of white bean, they made out of white bean base instead of a cream, that would definitely fall under number two. And my least favorite is that orange thing. What they say that was again, a three sheets pasta? Look, it's not leaving an impression on me. I can't even remember the name of it. I keep calling it an orange thing. So those are, are, are the three that I tried. Um, there's, it, it's new, clearly. On the packaging it says new. Um, but it has no artificial flavorings, no artificial dyes. So Oprah is going, you know, out of her way, taking that next step to really offer or provide healthier food options for you, for your family, you know, for your girlfriend or, um, you know, that friend, that homie that, you know, is struggling with their weight. Because it's hard. Okay? It's hard from going from, you know, eating your grandmama's potato salad to seaweed chips. <laughs> Some people are like, you know, you you have to change your diet if you want to lose weight. That's obvious. But I don't think, in my personal opinion, in an effort to lose weight or be healthier that, like, you should just lose your soul. Like, your food should not have any flavoring whatsoever. I, I can't function like that. I don't know how people do it. But after eating that, I need a drink. And yes, this is my Idris Elba cup that is filled with his bath water and I think I'd rather drink Idris Elba's bath water than go on a diet and I can't have ice cream or cake or all the other things I've been eating all my life and now all of a sudden I can't have no more that's my complaint I'm gonna stop complaining go ahead and give this a try if you've tried any of the other products from oh that's great Oprah's food line if you've tried any of the soups or if you've tried the pizza Definitely leave me a comment below. Give me a recommendation or if you want me to try the other products, let me know. Drop me a line. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Definitely leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you are working out your health situation. Most importantly, hit that notification button. That little red bell. Hit that so you never miss a product review and that you never miss an interview with an emerging black entrepreneur. That's what Minority Report is all about. Thank you for tuning in. I will check you guys out next time.